Hello, in this video we will stop, start with step 1, that's installing React App Builder and we will cover all this documentation wrote, wrote in here. So let's start with the step 1, that's, at, that's set up your environment and we need to install node and npm which comes together now. Then we should install git and install expo. Uh, then we should verify if we have successfully installed our software. So I have already done these steps before and I should just check that they're working okay. I will open a terminal and I will write node version which I get 10.9.0 then if I run npm version I get 6.5.0 and I should have a git installed correct so my environment is correctly set up also I need I have installed expo that could be verified with um, expo uh, version Yep, uh, so my environment is correctly set up and this is what you should get from Code Canyon. Uh, documentation link, mobile app code, synchronizing script, the builder, the SAS landing page, cloud functions and app maker docs which is something new. And uh, then we should connect to our Firebase that we have uh, previously done in previous step so I go here in my project overview and directly I have the button to uh, to add a code for that will connect to my uh, firebase so this is the variable that I need and that's the config object I have copied and then uh, I need to go to uh, explain it here in builder uh, in the folder firebase config add that value so what I will do is I will open this uh, code in uh, Visual Studio code and then in builder in source in config in firebase config I will connect to my database so this is the correct file now builder source config firebase config file replace the config value with your own value then I should copy that file the file is here in source in config firebase config so this file is used uh, copy yep it's used uh, between it uses the same configuration for the mobile app and cloud functions so as explained here I need to put in mobile app in mobile app and I should do a paste here and I should replace the existing one replace great then I should do the same for the cloud functions cloud functions functions I believe was yep yeah, cloud functions functions folder there is no file like that so far so I will just paste it and I have this file in all the projects that I need so I'm successfully connected to my Firebase my connection to Firebase is done the next step is to start your builder locally uh, then we should open the build folder in the terminal <coughs> or command line or we can use the folder in Visual Studio Code because they have integrated terminal so I'm using Visual Studio Code and I open my complete download from Code Canyon here and I'm able to open like this uh, open in terminal so I'm directly connected to the builder folder and uh, I should run npm install first
what this does is uh, inside the builder folder and almost any other folder we have package.json and this is a list of dependencies that we need our software to run so what this npm install does is install installs all these required uh, plugins to start working and after a successful install it will create a node modules folder here that will contain all the dependencies so this is uh, downloads a lot of code from internet because um, some file can also some dependency has her own dependency so all of the dependencies are installed and note that, that you may get some errors um, but in general after an npm install you should it should work as usual uh, <coughs> without problem and you should be able to start npm start so let's see how that will work and after a successful npm start it should open a localhost uh, on port 3000 and you should see something like this yeah react app builder landing page the welcome page where i'm able to register to login sorry then i will continue with my docs um, I'm on this page so that's been great so in builder config app.js okay I will go there source config app.js on around line 18 18 admin users so this is admin users that are owner of this admin panel and I have previously created a user here in authentication but you can create a new one so that's daniel at mobidonia.com um, i will put it here so i have like an admin user for the the page that's great uh, although uh, you can log in with any user defined here this admin user will have additional uh, privileges uh, then we need to set up our purchase code from Code Canyon. So we will go to Code, code Canyon download page and locate the React App Builder, and then download the license certificate the purchase code. There you will find your purchase code, and you will need to enter it in uh, app.js around line 2268. Uh, so just to show you how that looks. Here it is now line 350 depending on the setup so I want to purchase code and you will enter your purchase code here okay so that's a step that you should do uh, then uh, you should log in the react app builder and I will do with my existing pass uh, username that I have created before my password was my password I believe and yeah as I'm logged in uh, as you can see these messages this uh, setups sets up your react app builder installs all the templates and all the components and I get a notification that my inter it item purchase code is not correct or I have not entered it so after you have set it up you should have no problem um, then one important thing is that you set up a Google Maps API key uh, this is because some of the apps can have a map uh, inside uh, for example the uh, the events and the conference and the venues they have a, a map uh, component and it requires a google maps api key and in this additional step here you will learn how to set up the uh, how to get the google maps uh, key and we have good documentation how to do that and soon as as you get your api key in source config app.js around line 30 
uh, yeah, here it is, Google Maps API key, you should enter your Google Maps API key. I'll close this step and uh, depending on whether you have a regular license, you should follow Deploy React App Builder or if you have extended license, uh, you should follow creating, getting started with SAS React App Builder. So with this video we have covered all these steps. Uh, and yeah, please check out the documentation if something has changed because the video is will not be always maybe up to date. Uh, thanks for watching.